everyone thank you for joining in once again to study from isaiah chapter 61 i want to read for us from verse 6 5 and 6 strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the foreigner shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers but you shall be named the priests of the lord they shall call you the servants of our god you shall eat the riches of the gentiles and in their glory you shall boast we see in this passage god's promise god's promise to those who believe in him and those who receive the work of his salvation now we know that this was isaiah's prophecy to the people of his times but this is also a messianic prophecy that has to do with the life and ministry of the lord jesus and uh, for us who have received from the work of the lord jesus on the cross this is referring to the blessings of salvation the lord jesus uh, you know he he has released every blessing of the cross for us and even as we look back at at uh, what god had spoken you know earlier we see that we have a god of covenant uh, and covenant provision so he is a god who wants to provide for us he is a god who um, loves to have favor on his people and we notice that god is blessing his people with a promise of provision he says strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the foreigner shall be your plowmen and your vine dresser so in other words he's saying that the help that you need the provision that you need will be provided for you and towards the end of that passage he says you shall eat the riches of the gentiles and in their glory you shall boast uh, or, or again that god will be favorable to his people god will provide in full for his people now let's take some time to look at the um, initial part of verse 6 it says but you shall be named the priests of the lord they shall call you the servants of our god now if we look back at the old testament we know that there were only some people who were anointed as priests and they had their priestly duties in the uh, tabernacle or in the temple uh, and the others could never enter uh, the the uh, you know the the holy place or the most holy place but because of what jesus has done peter writes in his epistle 1 peter 2 and verse 9 he says that we are a royal priesthood so every child of god every saved born again um a uh, child of god is royal priesthood so what jesus has done is he has positioned us as priests in christ jesus so all of us are priests in christ jesus um and that is a privilege you know i'm sure there were people in uh, the old testament times who wanted to be priests but they just couldn't be because they were not called for it they were not appointed for it um neither were they anointed but today you and i we are priests uh, through christ jesus and what this means is we can freely minister to god so you know, all our services to god we can freely do that and god welcomes it and not just that we can minister to people on behalf of god uh, and that again is a great privilege so you are a priest and i am a priest we we praise god for all these privileges that we have let's pray together father we thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence boldly because of what jesus has done lord father we pray that you will help us um uh, lord see the depth of what you have done for us and always be grateful and also to serve through this position as priest in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org